Hey everyone, the name's Exotic Gaming, and welcome back to another absolutely epic Pixel Gun 3D video. Today we're taking a look at the brand new sniper rifle introduced just a couple of days ago now to Pixel Gun 3D. This sniper rifle, known as the Royal Sniper Rifle, is one of the new Royal weapons released alongside Battle Royale. I'm so excited to be reviewing this today, and I hope you guys are excited for this video. It's about to get awesome! Leave a like right now if you are signed into a YouTube account because there is so much hype with this video. Subscribe for more Pixel Gun 3D content and let's just jump right into this. Going into the armory section, heading over to our sniper section. This is the Royal Sniper Rifle in all its glory. I gotta say, right off the bat here, Pixel Gun is doing a better and better job releasing these weapons. They look cooler and cooler basically each and every update. This one is no exception. I mean, look at it in our character's hands. That thing is massive. That's like a four foot long sniper rifle and he's holding it with one hand casually like it's nobody's business. I mean, that thing looks like it's made of bronze. That thing's heavy. That thing's big. And if I know anything about Pixel Gun 3D, generally, the bigger the weapon, the more powerful the weapon. The revolver sniper rifle is a pretty good example of that. And then weapons like the circus cannon or the big buddy are other examples of that. I mean, a whole gigantic cannon, that thing's one of the best weapons in this game. Now, this weapon is mythical. Level 17. It's a 10 times zoom sniper rifle, perfect for a sniper rifle, mind you. And it slows down the target, making it even easier to use than a lot of the other snipers in this game. It has a 37 power with an 89 firing rate, a 15 capacity, and a 65 mobility, and this weapon is awesome. Now, I have Colosseum highlighted, but that is not the type of weapon that you want to go into. Since this weapon is a sniper rifle, you're going to want to keep this, obviously, in longer range matches. Ants Life is a great example of that. Paradise Resort. In points capture, maybe something like Paradise Resort there. Even Mining Camp to a certain extent, and you'll see some gameplay here in Mining Camp. We're probably going to leave Mining Camp at some point in this video to go into something else, but you guys will see this weapon is great for some of that long range gameplay. You're generally looking at a two-shot kill when you use this weapon, two-shot headshot that is. I think it's a three-shot body shot when you use this weapon, but as you will see throughout this video, basically when you use this weapon at close range, you're going to be at a big disadvantage. You're going to notice that throughout this video, so do not use this weapon really at any close range gameplay because you're just not going to do too well. Really, the only people that are going to be able to take you out consistently at long range are going to be people that are going to be using those easy to use sniper rifles that are ridiculously OP. You know the ones that I'm talking about that are one shot through wall type of weapons. So if you can manage to beat those weapons, you feel like you did well. And I think this is probably one of your most skill based weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. If you can manage to use this one and get consistent kills with this one, I mean, my God, you feel awesome, you feel like you did well, and that's honestly not something that really happens too often with the sniper rifles in this game. Because here's the thing, right? A lot of sniper rifles are ridiculously OP in this game. They're all, it's like the same thing. They're all almost the same thing, one-shot kill weapons. And then you finally get a two-shot headshot weapon like this. It really makes you rely on getting those headshots in order to get those kills when you use it. And that is why this weapon is so unique. I mean, there's only a couple of other weapons that are like this in this game. It's, it's almost as if this is like another version of The Last Hope. If you guys remember The Last Hope, that's a perfect example. As you can see here, close range, not great for this weapon. People are going to consistently be able to take you out with their area damage weapons without much trouble at all. So keep this thing at long range, and as you will see, you will absolutely destroy. Get it at a range so you can use this weapon with its scope, and the kills will just rack up in number. And then people won't even have anything negative to say about you because, I mean, like, what are you going to do? What are they going to do? Are they going to complain because you're using an OP weapon? No. No because this weapon isn't an OP weapon. This weapon requires a lot of skill when using. You gotta be accurate. It doesn't have any stupid area damage like the supercharged rifle. And I mean, when you get a kill with this thing, it's great. I love this weapon a lot and I think I will use this weapon almost as much as something like The Last Hope. The Last Hope might just be my favorite sniper rifle and pixel gun, but I mean, now that we have this weapon, I don't know. This one looks a little bit cooler than The Last Hope in my personal opinion, so honestly, this might be my new favorite sniper rifle in this game, and this is something that I could not recommend more to you guys. I mean, look at this guy. He has his little 
nitrogen sprayer. Doesn't stand a chance against this thing. Obviously at close range, yes it will, but this is a sniper rifle. You don't use a sniper rifle at close range. You'd have to be dumb to do that. So don't do that when you're using this thing and that way you can get your best gameplay when you're using this. I mean, I'm here at mining camp, right? This isn't even your perfect map for this weapon and I can easily get a triple kill like I'm in here right now and, and no problem whatsoever. Rack up the kills left and right when I'm using this thing. It's great, it's fantastic and where I am right now is one of your best spots to be obviously in mining camp for some reason people are traveling through walls right now that's always a great thing i mean that guy is uh well he's clearly mastered the art of through wall travel as you can see with a sniper rifle sometimes you're gonna get less kills than your other weapons in this game and that's okay especially in a map like mining camp honestly a lot of people have to, you know, they get that desperate urge to get as many kills as they possibly can in Pixel Gun 3D. And with a sniper rifle, sometimes you sacrifice those kills by getting better kill streaks. That's something that a lot of people have to learn when they use sniper rifles in this game. You can't get, get right up close and personal with this weapon as you would with some of the other area damage weapons in this game. Many, many, many people are going to sit there and try to use this thing the same way they would use something like the Champion Solar Cannon or something like that. And with those weapons, obviously, at many occasions, you would get more kills more often. But here's the other flip side to that. You're going to die a lot more when you use the Champion Solar Cannon because you're going to be up close and personal at close range up against other people using ridiculously OP weapons at close range. So you're sitting there using this thing and what are you going to do? You're going to sit there back far away from the enemy players and you're going to more consistently get better kill streaks when you use this thing because the only weapons that they can really use against you are sniper rifles themselves. Area damage, they can't use that unless maybe they use the supercharged rifle, but then again, hopefully that supercharged rifle is going to get a decrease in its stats in the very near future. And again, if you can manage to land those shots, you're going to get fantastic kill streaks when you use this weapon. You're going to really have no problem whatsoever. I mean, I, I, I can't recommend this weapon enough, guys. I really, seriously, honest to God, cannot recommend this weapon enough. And it's not just because I'm always the type of person that's like, hey, please stop using OP weapons. I seriously think this is one of those weapons you should use if you want to become better at this game. I think everybody watching this video wants to become better at Pixel Gun 3D. You don't want to have to sit there and rely only on the Soul Stone throughout the entire time you're playing Pixel Gun 3D. Nobody wants to do that. So, if you can manage to use this weapon a lot more and you can manage how to master the accuracy and master the performance and everything about this weapon, then you're going to see a very big noticeable increase in your, in your level of gameplay when you use this in any match that you go into. And that's going to directly translate over to the other sniper rifles and other weapons in this game. It, it basically, with this weapon, what I'm trying to say is if you do well with this one, you're going to do well with most others in this game. So that's great. As you can see, though, here's another perfect example of how you want to use something like this weapon here. I'm not rushing towards the enemies, which are all going towards point B there. If I was to do that, I would die because all those people are going to have close range area damage type weapons and stuff like that. And that's going to be a big, big problem. Even there this person was close enough to use a primary weapon. I got a little bit too close for comfort against that guy, and that was a bit of a problem. You wanna keep this thing at long, long range. Places like where these buildings are, it's perfect, because if you do that, then people aren't going to be able to take you out with those one-shot kill area damage weapons. Now, as you can see, I'm not getting as many kills as I may have done with some of my other weapon reviews, but I have to say, with confidence, I'm probably doing better than I have done with my other weapon reviews in the uh, past couple of weeks. Just because with this weapon, you know, I learned how to use this weapon a little bit better and I died less in this video than some of the other weapon reviews that I've done not too long ago, so. Keep that in mind when you're thinking of the weapons to get from this most recent update. I'd have to say this is one of my favorite weapons from... This is probably my second favorite weapon from this most recent Royal update. There are the four weapons so far. I'd have to say the primary weapon is my favorite, the Royal Fighter that I did a review on yesterday. And then this one's probably my second favorite. The backup one is probably going to be my last, my least favorite. And that's going to be the video that we're actually going to be posting later today, by the way. So stay tuned for that. The Ashbringer is probably my third favorite. I'm going to leave this match here. Maybe see if I can go into a Paradise Resort points capture match. I actually like Paradise Resort for more longer ranged gameplay for points capture and specificity. I don't even know if that's a real word. Specifically, 
I like points capture Paradise Resort more than Deathmatch points capture. Uh, not Deathmatch point. I don't even know what I'm trying to say, guys. I tried to say something intelligent. It didn't really work out. You basically, you know what I'm trying to say. I like using uh, these weapons here, these sniper rifles and points capture in Paradise Resort because you can get more consistent long-range gameplay. Look at this against a turret, by the way. Four shots. Just destroyed the turret guy. I mean, no, no, no difficulty whatsoever. I love this thing. I love this thing, and you guys will love it too if you get this thing. So, I don't really have much else I could possibly say here. I really, really enjoy using this. There's a guy with a sniper rifle over there. There's your perfect prime distance to use this weapon at. And as you can see now, we're actually in the middle of a little bit of a sniper battle here with this weapon. And if you can manage to beat those people with that anti-champion rifle, my God, you feel like a pro. You feel like you did something right. Obviously, they're going to take you out a lot of times because they're using the OP weapon. And, you know, you're going to be at a, a bit of a disadvantage against those people. He has a one-shot area damage, not area damage, but one shot through wall weapon. So yeah, obviously he's going to more consistently take you out. But look at that. I just destroyed absolutely everybody. And now I destroyed that guy a second time. So I love this thing, especially points capture paradise resort. We are <laughs> absolutely annihilating these people right now. This turret really doesn't stand a chance as well. And we still have a lot of ammo to spare. Ammo conservancy is not even really much of an issue with this weapon here. You're going to get a lot of ammo when you use this. I mean, this guy, look at this. I killed other guy. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm basically on a major awesome kill streak when I'm using this. And, uh, well, we're, we're just going to keep going. We have 13 shots left and we're showing no signs of, of giving up yet. Look at this. I, I mean, like, this, this weapon is fantastic, guys. I don't know what else to say. I really think you should get this thing. Use it. Use it to your best advantage. And, uh, I mean, that little kill streak there basically explains uh, what I feel about this weapon. It's fantastic in every way. If I was to rate this weapon between 1 and 10, guys, um, I'd give this weapon probably a... 9.5. It's not quite a 10, but I mean, this weapon is just about as best as you can get for a sniper rifle in this game. Do I recommend getting this thing? Wholeheartedly, yes. This is about your ultimate sniper rifle in Pixel Gun, just because, like I said many times before, it's not an OP sniper rifle, and that is why this weapon is awesome, and you need to get this weapon. I mean, look at the amount I'm, of kills I am getting right now. All of these people are just dying left and right. They're not even going to bother fighting against me. They just, they realize exotic gaming with this weapon is no match to even attempt to go up against. How many kills did we get that match? 15 kills. The second closest amount of kills was eight. And I got way more than 15 because a lot of people had resurrection. That one guy, it seemed like every single time I killed him, he had resurrection. So we easily got over 20 kills in that match. And, well, that is basically the trend with the Royal Sniper Rifle. It's awesome. You're going to love it. And uh, that's basically all I can say to it. Yeah, that's the guy that always has resurrection. Annoying, to say the least. You, may, you basically ruined my kill streaks, dude. Annoying. Although it, it said headshot, that's weird. It said headshot like 10 seconds after that point. That was a little weird. So yeah, basically, I, I have no negatives I could possibly say about this thing, guys. You need to get it if you want a good sniper rifle, and that is it. So thanks, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the fantastic gameplay here we got, especially at the end of the video. We got much better gameplay here at the end than uh, we did earlier on in this video, and I hope you guys stayed till the end to see that because we destroyed so many monster kills, it's absolutely unbelievable, and uh, yeah, I love it. So, thank you all for watching, guys. I'd appreciate it a lot if you left a like down below. Subscribe for some more Pixel Gun 3D content. And with that being said, that is it. I'll see you all in the next episode.